Hello, my name is Alex Collier. I'm a second year PhD student at Imperial College London. And I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this presentation. Um, I'm going to talk to you about characterizing the role of heterogeneity on surface water groundwater interaction in the Permatriassic sandstone aquifers of the Eden Valley. The Permatriassic sandstone aquifers of the Eden Valley are an important water source for public water supply and local agriculture. The aquifers typically have large storage capacities and moderate transmissivities. However, these characteristics vary greatly on a range of scales. For example, granulation seams that are millimetres thick extend for hundreds of metres in analogous sandstones. Silicified layers that are several metres thick extend for tens to, to hundreds of metres laterally. And the lithological variation and faulting juxtapose hydrogeological units with different hydraulic properties. The heterogeneities are likely to impose local controls on groundwater flow and are compounded by highly variable overlying superficial deposits that may increase the indirect recharge component. This research demonstrates a possible methodology for characterizing surface water groundwater interaction spatially and temporally in an ungaged upland subcatchment using low cost ultrasonic sensing. The challenges faced include uncertain spatial and temporal distribution of recharge to the permatriasic sandstone aquifers, uncertain connectivity between the permatriasic sandstone aquifer and underlying strata, and uncertain three dimensional spatial distribution of superficial deposits and sources of heterogeneity. The approach taken was to design and build a low cost river stage sensor that doesn't disturb channel flow install the sensors at key locations to investigate the hydrological impact of heterogeneity and conduct flow gauging while sensors were installed to generate rating curves to conduct stage uh, of flow. Use this, use this data to improve conceptual understanding of surface water groundwater interaction. The ultralink sensors were designed to have an estimated battery life of 168 days and work over a range of two to 400 centimeters for an accuracy of about three millimeters. The data was stored on the SD card and each sensor cost about 58 euros. The sensors were being built in my garage. An extensive desktop investigation was conducted to identify suitable sites for sensor installation with the criteria of being located close to a region uh, of heterogeneity have a straight river or stream channel and it have existing infrastructure already in place for mounting the sensor to. Four sites were selected to investigate the impact, uh, two for the limestone pavement in the upper Eden catchment that straddles the boundary with the adjacent loon catchment and two for the geological contact between the underlying carboniferous limestone formation and the pavement sandstone formation. The initial data from the sensors show that they uh, accurately capture uh, the stream level uh, and the, uh, which shows a flashy response uh, to rainfall. Unfortunately, the battery life of the sensors proved to be much shorter than uh, designed and lasted approximately three weeks on two consecutive occasions. This will be addressed uh, during the sensor improvements, where the uh, solar panel will be added to them. The sensors investigating the limestone and the impact of the limestone pavement show a noisier um, signal for the water level. This is thought to be the impact of indirect um, paths for the most prominent echo they are measuring the distance of and this will be addressed by remounting the sensors further into the middle of the channel when field work is able to resume. So sensor improvements. The inclusion of a six volt three watt solar panel to extend battery life theoretically forever has been included for sensor 3.0. The reduction of the, of the battery size from 10,000 milliamp hours to 3,000 milliamp hours offsets the cost of this solar panel and move to integrated microcontroller with a micro SD card will further reduce the power losses due to manual solar connections. 
the sensors 3.0 have a battery life of um, almost an entire month without being connected to the solar panel and are currently being tested in my garden. Unfortunately, the field work in this research has been greatly impacted by the current pandemic and as such is on hold. But when it is allowed to continue, the existing sensors will be replaced with sensors 3.0 with the solar panels. Uh, there will be an installation of new sensors at additional sites to investigate the impact of the Pennine Fault that runs north-south along the eastern uh, edge of the Eden Valley and the solidified layers of Penrith Sandstone. Um, spot gauging will be conducted to generate rating curves at all sensor locations and the data will be used to investigate the temporal and spatial connectivity between the surface water and groundwater along short stretches of the Eden River. These will be used to identify the direction of flow through the comparison of river level and regional groundwater level and then quantify the flux using horizontal Darcy and flow estimation. The data will be used to, in all future groundwater modeling of the Eden Valley. I'd like to thank you all for making it to the end of my little presentation um, and look forward to discussing my research with you in the questions. Thank you very much.